here. Reminder 1. Reminder 1. 50 power 51 power 52 divided by 11. Based on this one. Based on this one. Let me do one more example. Very, very good question, sir. If the denominator it is 11. If the denominator it is 11. Reminder 1. A power P minus 1 divided by P it is 1. When P is a prime number, when P is a prime number and A comma P are co-prime and A comma P are co-prime. So this will give you reminder 1, 50 power 10 divided by 11, it is nothing but 1. 50 power 10 divided by 11, it is nothing but 1. Yesterday we discussed the power to power problems. Divide this power by this power. If I divide this power by this power, this is nothing but 51 power 52 divided by 10. I am checking what is the form of the number for 51 power 52. 10 5s are 50. Reminder it is nothing but 1. So 51 power 52. When you divide by 10, quotient we don't know. It is a 10k plus 1. So it is nothing but reminder of 50 power 10k plus 1 divided by 11. 50 by 11. 11 fours are 44. What is the reminder? 6. Very, very good question. If you understand Fermat's theorem, you can solve this question very, very easily. First step. The denominator it is a prime number. 11 it is a prime number. So power has to be 10. Power has to be 10. 50 power 10 divided by 11. 50 power 10 divided by 11 it is 1. Second step. If the power is 51 power 52. 51 power 52 divided by 10. 10 5s are 50. Reminder it is nothing but 1. Dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus reminder. 51 power 52 is 10k plus 1. So 50 by 11. 11 4s are 44. Answer is nothing but 6. Please put a star mark on this question. Another question. 9 power, 25 power, 37 divided by 7. 9 power, 25 power, 37 divided by 7. Same method we will try to solve. Same method we will try to solve. Fermat's theorem, first we did it for a single power. Then I am raising power to the power. So this is nothing but if it is 7. According to Fermat's theorem, 9 power 6 divided by 7 is 1. 9 power 6 divided by 7 is 1. Divide this power with the power for which you got 1. Divide the power by the power for which you got 1. 25 power 37 divided by 6. These is nothing but 6 4s are 24. Reminder it is nothing but 1. So 25 power 37. When you divide by 6, quotient is k. Reminder is 1. Dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus reminder. 25 power 37. When divided by 6, quotient is k. Reminder is 1. So substitute this in this equation. If I substitute this, this is nothing but 9 power 6k plus 1 divided by 7. So 9 by 7, 7 ones are 7, reminder it is nothing but 2. 7 ones are 7, reminder it is nothing but 2. I hope reminder 1, 2 power 2005, reminder 1, 2, 2 power 2005 is divided by 13 according to Fermat's theorem. Denominator it is 13. It is a prime number. So 2 power 12 divided by 13. It is nothing but 1. First step. It is nothing but 1. Then divide these power with the power for which you got 1. 2005. If I divide by 12. If I divide by 12. 12 ones are 12. Next is 80. 12 six are 72. 85. 12 sevens are 84. Reminder 1. 2005. 2005. When you divide by 12, 
we do not know the quotient but the reminder it is one we do not know the quotient but the reminder it is one i hope the idea it is clear denominator 13 13 is a prime number so 2 power 12 divided by 13 it is one divide this power by this power to check the form of 2005 2005 when you divide by 12 reminder will be one dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus a reminder so 2005 is nothing but of the form 12 into something plus 1 12 into something plus 1 divided by 13 2 divided by 13 2 divided by 13 answer for this question is nothing but 2 answer for this question is nothing but 2 use by using negative reminder you will also get the same answer Use the negative reminder concept. That also will give you the answer. Find out which power of 2. When divided by 13, I will get plus 1 or minus 1. 2 square divided by 13, 4. 2 cube divided by 13, 8. 2 power 4, 16 by 13, 3. 2 power 5, 32. 2 power 6, 64. 6. 633 is are 198, 25, 4 into 2 power 1 divided by 13, divided by 13, 65 by 13, minus 1, minus 1 power even, it is 1, 1 into 2, 2, both of them has given you the same answer, both of them has given the same answer. I hope the idea it is clear. Fermat's theorem is used when the denominator it is a prime number. First single power we did it. Then we did the highest power. Next one. Beautiful question sir it is. Fifth question is a very very good question. One for, okay. The question I will write it again. 10 power 1. 10 power 10. 10 power 100, 10 power 1000 and so on up to 10 power 1 followed by 10 zeros, 1 followed by 10 zeros, 3 0, 6, 9, 10 zeros, this entire number it is divided by 7, it is divided by 7. 10 power 10, 10 power 100, 10 power 1000, 10 power 10 power 4, 10 power 10 power 5 and so on up to 10 power 1 followed by 10 zeros divided by 7. Let us see if there is any pattern that will come. Is there any pattern that will come? Let us see it. First one, 10 power 10, 10 power 10 divided by 7 because it is 7 power is nothing but 6 into 10 power 4 divided by 7 divided by 7 this is nothing but 1 based on a fermat's theorem 10 by 7 7 ones are 7 3 power 4 3 power 4 is 81 81 divided by 7 7 elevens are 77 reminder is nothing but 4 Reminder, it is nothing but 4. Similarly, if I take the second term, second term is nothing but 10 power 100, 10 power 100 divided by 7. 10 power 100, it is nothing but, if the denominator it is 7, it is 6. 6 goes how many times? 6 sixteens are 96 into 10 power 4 by 7, into 10 power 4 by 7. These again nothing but 1. 10 power 4 by 7, again we did 4. Again we did 4. Finally, we will see with the third term, what will be the answer. 10 power 1000 divided by 7. So, these nothing but 10 power 6, 6 16s are 96, 6 6 are into 10 power 4 divided by 7. All the time you are getting 10 power 4 divided by 7. Every time you are getting 10 power 4 divided by 7. 10 power 4 divided by 7 is 4. For 1 0, I got 4. For 1 0, I got 4. For 2 zeros, I got 4. For 3 zeros, I got 4. For 10 zeros, I got 4. 4 4. 
right from 1 0 till 10 zeros every time i got the value 4 every time i got the value 4 4 4 4 4 4, four. added it 10 times 4 tens are 40 4 tens are 40 40 divided by 7 7 fives are 35 what is the remainder 5 7 fives are 35 what is the remainder 5. Again, I am repeating it. For this, I got 4. For this, I got 4. For this, I got 4. 4 is added 10 times. If 4 is added 10 times, it will become 4 into 10. 4 into 10 is 40. 40 divided by 7. 7 fives are 35. Positive reminder.